of x plus y, for example, okay, or the max of x. We are finding the maximum of 3x plus 4y. So, when we plot the circle, we must really choose the, the appropriate point such that 3 times its x value and 4 times its y value it is, gives us the maximum value. It's difficult because these two di di digits are different, okay? So, in a way, there, there doesn't seem to be any symmetry involved, okay? But we should still be able to solve it, okay? So that's the equation over there. Now, let's see. The only thing that I can do is to really, let's graph out the thing because we don't even know what the heck it looks like, okay? Now, it's for a square or even though if you don't know it's a square, what you can do is complete the square, no pun intended, okay? So x squared, take away 14x, yeah, take away 14x plus x, y squared, take away 6y is equal to 6, okay? Then you can put, I think it's x, take away 4x squared, this plus 49, you subtract the 49, okay? Then you plus y, take away 3 squared, then it's a 36, you subtract the 36, equals to 6, and then you would get x, take away, sorry, this is, what is. This is not a x, it's a 7. So you get x, take away 7 squared, plus y, take away 3 squared, is equals to 64, okay? It's that correct 64, that means it's 8 squared, okay? So it's a circle, and it's best that we just graph out the circle, okay? To get a good grip of things. Okay, I'm drawing this way. Now, the center is 7 and 3, okay? X is 7, Y is 3, okay? This is the center, and the radius is 8, it's 8, so because 8 squared, so the radius is 8, so it will shoot up from here and here, okay? But I'm going to draw a bit small, because we need to, sorry, we need to really draw it small to really analyze the problem, okay? So I'll draw it like that. Okay, that is a good size. The center is here. Not much of a center, but never mind. Let's just take it that circle. Okay, so this is the equation. The equation gives us a circle like this. So what it means is that we, we are, are trying to pick a point on the circle such that it gives us the maximum of 3x and 4y. Now, when I saw it, you, you, should, you may be tempted to, okay, let's pick over here. All right, it's the top of the circle. We got a maximum value. Well, notice that this will give us a maximum value of y. No doubt about that. But it gives us kind of a, a middle value of, of x, you see. Uh, conversely, if we pick a value over here, it gives us the maximum value of x, but then the y value decreases. Okay, so that is, is tricky, okay? Now you can say, oh, let's pick a point over here. Well, we don't know because it is not x plus y, you see. It's 3x plus 4y. That's why I keep on stressing, it's not that easy, okay? But I guess a, a good view of the problem is that we are given a set of points. Let's pick one and see the maximum value that we can get, okay? So how are we gonna do a, go about doing that? Okay, well, a certain point that we pick must kind of fit inside this equation over here, am I not wrong? Okay, so let's just say we will represent that value, okay, as a constant c. Sorry, 4y as a constant c, okay? So basically, whatever point we pick, we, we do the, the arithmetic and we get a constant c. Now, we want to maximize the value of c, okay? But are we able to represent this on the graph over there, okay? You see, because if we can represent this as a graph, we can somehow vary whatever graph that, that we have so that we will get a maximum value of c because c is definitely going to be inside it. Well, obviously we can because we can rewrite this as negative 3x divided by 4 plus c divided by 4. Now that is good because notice the constant gradient, okay? We can plot this out, okay, we can graph this out on the graph over here, okay? And that would certainly give us the value of c from the y-intercept, okay? I hope you see that. So what this means is that the graph would be have a negative a gradient of negative 3.4, 3 over 4. So obviously it'd be like that, okay? Gradient is negative 3 divided by 4. And the y-intercept is c take away 4. Okay? So what it means, it means that as we change the value of c, we will change the graph. Okay? Knowing that this graph satisfies 3x plus 4. Okay, I'll write it over here. It's getting a bit messy. Knowing that this graph satisfies 3x plus 4y. Okay, so, but we are at liberty to choose the value of C that we have. So, it seems to me that we want to get the maximum C because that will maximize this. We will just simply draw the line such that it is the maximum C. Or in other words, the first time the line meets the circle that we have. Because remember, the circle are the points that we can choose. Okay, so, how would I want to do that? I want to draw the line such that it will just fall as a tangent to the circle and that will give me the maximum 
value of c, which is c divided by 4. And the key now is to finding this point. Okay? I hope that that reasoning works out. See, the line over here is y equals to minus 3x divided by 4 plus c divided by 4, right? So we want to maximize c. So we want to maximize c by maximizing this over here. We maximize this thing over here by making sure that it intersects the circle because the circle are the points that we get to choose at its highest point, which is c divided by 4, which is intersect the tangent. So now we are just left in solving for this point over here. Now, that is going to be another problem because you might be tempted to substitute this one over here, okay? You see whether you can, you can understand me what I say. You see, this, right, is the equation. This circle comes from the equation over here. So we want to solve for the point over there, right? So you might be tempted to substitute this one over here, which is the equation of the line, over here. Now, sorry, yeah, over there and solve for x accordingly. Is it a smart thing to do? Now, certainly, it's, I don't think so, okay? Because, number one, you will get a quadratic equation in terms of x. You got an x over here, we're gonna square that, we get a quadratic equation. What does a quadratic equation give us? It gives us a lot of values, right? It's gonna give us like a line that intersects here, the value of here and here. Well, it's not gonna be much use to us because we're focusing on the point over there. So that's not good, reason number one. Reason number two is that notice that we have not solved for c yet, you see? We substitute this thing over here, we get a quadratic equation in x squared, and we still have a C to solve. So it looks like things are getting a bit jumbled up because I, I, I need to solve for C and I need to solve for X, knowing that my main focus is to solve for X. That's not gonna work out, okay? Now, that, that is another stumbling block there, which I think at this point, even the smartest students will, will tend to give up, okay? But not all is lost, okay? Now, for clarity, I'll just origin point over here. Let's focus on this small section over there. So, okay, now you see, we know that this gradient, okay, is 7. So we want to find x over here, okay? We know x dash, okay? We know the gradient is negative 3 over 4, and we know the origin is over here. What do we know if, there, if I extend a line from the origin to the line at that point, okay? Well, certainly it's going to be 90 degrees, okay? Right? What's the gradient of that point? Well, we know lines that intersect in a Euclidean coordinate system, okay? The gradients are 1 divided by minus m, okay? So the gradient of this line is 3 over 4. Okay? I hope you get that. See, I want to find the value of, of x dash, so I need to somehow get over there. So that's why I know that the gradient, okay, is, sorry, it's 4 divided by 3. Okay? 4 divided by 3 because I, this is negative 3 divided by 4. I invert it and I take the, the negative, so it's 4 divided by 3. Now, what do I know about 4 divided by 3? I know that I can re-represent this, okay, by writing 3a and 4a. So thinking that A is like a, a unit unit length. You, do you see what I mean? The gradient of, of here is, is 4 divided by 3. So obviously it's 4 okay, divided by 3. That's the gradient. So if I take this divided by this, I get the gradient. The reason why I want to represent it in this way, because now I can solve directly using the equation of the circle. Okay, By writing this. Now, the point from here to here will be 7 plus 3a, right? 7 plus 3a, and this one will go into the x value, so I will minus 7 like so. And then I take the, the square, and then I will plus the y coordinate. What's the y? The y is 3, okay, plus 4a. 3 plus 4a, and then I'll take away a 3. And then square equals to 64, okay? Now, that helps us a lot because the 7 and the 7 will subtract each other, the 3 and the 3 will subtract each other, so we are left with 9a squared plus 16a squared equals to 64, and we solve for a giving us, okay, 8 divided by 5. And there we go. So basically, this value of a gives us the coordinate x dash and the coordinate y dash, the coordinates that we want, and now we just simply substitute this value of a into the thing that we want to maximize, okay? Which would be 3x plus 4y, which is equals to 3x would be, x is 7 plus 3a, okay? Which is this one, so 3, 8 times 5, add up with 4 plus y, y is 3 plus 4a, okay? And that will give us the maximum value is 73. And that is how you solve this killer question, okay? Now, some notes, we look at the problem, we graph out the, the graph, the graph is this. We want to maximize 3x plus 4y. 
we, we don't know because there are a lot of values on the circle that, that will give us a certain value for this. We don't know what's the maximum, let alone is 3x and then times the 4y, two different coefficients. So we graph out another graph, which is y equals to minus 3 over 4x plus c over 3, so that we can maximize, sorry, c divided by 4, so we can maximize this. We get a graphical representation to maximize that by maximizing c. And we maximize c by maximizing the y-intercept, and that point is the one we want to find. Okay. And lastly, we want to solve this equation conveniently. And what, how we do is that we use the fact that the gradient over here is 4 divided by 3, so that we can eliminate 7 and we can eliminate 3.